an eparchial council, Sobor, not held once every five years, but eight times over four years. The role of women, not only in the eparchy itself, but also in managerial positions. A challenge to think outside the box. Families living at the bishop's house together with the bishop. These are only a few of the real life topics presented in this film about the Paris Epoque of St. Volodymyr the Great. Filming lasted from 2016 to 2019 and therefore shows the life of the Epoque in retrospect. It is presented by Archbishop Boris Gudziak, Eparch at the time, who initiated a daring experiment by envisioning what an eparchy of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church could look like in the 21st century. Today, as we present this film to the greater public, there have been several changes. Bishop Boris is now in a different ministry, having become Metropolitan Archbishop of Philadelphia in June 2019. I was assigned as administrator until the appointment of a new eparch. And of course, the children in the film have grown up, while still others have been born. Yet at the same time, the film remains relevant because this experiment continues. It did not end with the departure of Bishop Boris and it will not end when I leave. It is an ongoing experiment because it keeps developing and evolving into other forms and dimensions. But it is also constantly receiving new challenges. To that end, we present this film to you not only as a conclusion of sorts, but also as the beginning of a future which is authentic in its novelty and creativity. The film allows us to become acquainted with various aspects of eparchial life. The ministry of our cathedral in the center of the French capital. The Ukrainian presence in Lourdes. The success of newly opened missions, as well as challenges for earlier established parishes. And most importantly, the role of the laity in parish life and that of the, our eparchy. This vibrant eparchial life is founded upon friendly relations between priests and laity. The eparchial councils, sobor, are an essential instrument which provides the faithful of the eparchy the opportunity to live and work together. The eparchies of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church outside of Ukraine have their specificities. Complex, multilingual and multicultural environments. The Paris eparchy encompasses three monarchies and two republics with six official languages. Our faithful are comprised of new immigrants from Ukraine who joined the long established communities of our eparchy, as well as non-Ukrainians who have found their spiritual homes with us. But this movie is not a commercial. Petro Didula, the cameraman and director of the film, captured the life of our eparchy by living among us. He shows eparchial life as it is, up close, not from a distance. He does not conceal any difficulties or challenges. This film is honest and authentic, showing doubts and worries. It does not have answers for every question. We invite you to not just watch the film, but to discuss the issues that it raises. How to be an eparchy, how to be a church. If these questions create conversations within and between the eparchies or dioceses 
of the church we will assume that the film has achieved its goal